Hi again, folks. In this video, the five most special names in Buffalo Sabres history. Coming up. All right, just a little fun video I wanted to slap together. I pulled out five names of Buffalo Sabres players in our history that I thought had really funny names. That um, <laughs> just there's just some of them that are really funny. And uh, maybe they need an explanation to go at it. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm going to just throw this one together. It won't be a long video. Just for a little fun. Get our mind off that game we just seen. I think the first name might even uh, explain what happened tonight. Okay. Coming in at number five. is Mike Funk. And if I tell you what, if we didn't uh, play in a funk tonight, I don't know when we have. So Mike Funk is, um, is not, I guess, the guy that you want to count on to go on a, on a roll, right, in the, uh, on the goal scoring. So I thought that was, uh, that, that came in at fifth. These were hard to, uh, they were hard to pull these names, but there were some funny ones that I, li I liked over the years, you know. So Mike Funk comes in at number five. Number four. Who actually had the most established career of the bunch, just for the record, was Dick Duff. I think of Duff Beer. <laughs> you know, I just do. Um, and Mike Funk, I think of scoring droughts. It's just the way it hit me, these names, when I, when I found them. Um, yeah, Dick Duff was back uh, back in the 70s and uh, played some time with our team. And uh, I don't know, how, how, how do you think it would sound if uh, Dick Duff and Mike Funk uh, went on a two and one together? Just saying. So Dick Duff, number four. Coming in at number three, some of you might remember this, this name. My buddies even used to tease me about this guy's name years ago, Gates Orlando. Makes you think of a place you're going on vacation, doesn't it? Gates Orlando played with us in the 80s, and um, I, always, uh, I always thought his name was kind of strange, you know, Gates Orlando. It just sounds like a funny name. And he, uh, you know, a lot of these guys didn't really play much time with us, so some of you might not know some of these names, but... Uh, for the history books, I you know I looked through all the names of all our players in history, and these were the five most special names. You know, I put special names. You know, Mike Funk, Dick Duff, Gates Orlando. Coming in at number two. I don't know who to put number one and two. Ah, I got to go with what's what's. Uh, Uh, I'm gonna go with what I what I I'm just gonna do it. It doesn't really matter. Miroslav Satan. Now, did you ever think the Sabres would have a guy named Satan on the team? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was weird to look at when I see that. You know, there was no e at the end or no like there was. It's just weird to look at it, look at his name. And, he, and it's funny because he kind of had that kind of evil look to him even. It was funny, you know. Solid hockey player, as we all know. But uh, Miroslav Satan comes in at number two. I, I, I struggled with one and two, but number one's always cracked me up the most for some reason. Call me nuts. Coming in at number one, Morris Titanic. Yeah, we had, uh, and you know what you think of when you hear that name, right? So yeah, we got a guy you should never go on a cruise with. We got a guy that you don't walk, you, you, you make sure that you have witnesses when you're around him. A guy here who's selling like um, um, 
vacation packages in Gates Orlando. If you're out of beer and Dick Duff's your neighbor, go see him. And never count on Mike Funk to get on a scoring streak, folks. It's not gonna happen. Just a little laugh. All right, I'm, I'm calling it a night. Folks, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Let's just see what happens in Pittsburgh tomorrow. Have a good one.